Hey everybody, it's Showstar and Crystal here for another review of The Flash. This time it's episode 3, Things You Can't Outrun. And I suppose since it's kind of the tradition for how Flash works, we'll start the episode off with talking about our villain of the episode. This time we've got the gas guy. He was a little more threatening, I guess. I think, yeah, of the three people we've faced, he's the most... Well, I say three people, we've faced a tornado, but... Yeah, this one seemed more threatening of the three. And there's a little bit of a pun with his name, Kyle Nimbus. A Nimbus is a type of cloud. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's a nice little pun, I'm guessing. But, yeah, he was... His I, parents named him knowing he'd get that power. <laughs> that, that happens a lot in these shows. But, yeah, I suppose of the three we've seen so far, he's at least the most interesting in terms of power. This thing... For most of the villains, at least the one-offs, you're not focusing on the character, you usually just watch their cool power. And at least this one was more interesting and posed more of an interesting threat. Because obviously Barry was having a hard time stopping the gas and they had to figure out why it was gas and so on. But yeah, I suppose it does lead into a little bit of a plot thread or, or a theme of the episode of Barry and others taking risks. Mm. Because, you know, he t he gets the gas and he rushes over. You know, he does something reckless, like getting the gas in himself. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But, you know, at least I suppose that was an interesting point And, you know, that's a theme of the episode. But, yeah, I suppose the other interesting thing is the episode once again starts off with Barry being a hero. Last time he stopped a fire, this time it's like him interrupting his normal life to go quickly s stop a police chase. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just more reinforcing it. But as we've, as I always say with The Flash, especially in the first half, the side plots for this season are always the best part. Because we have the side plot of, we have the side plot of Joe has started to investigate the case of Barry's mother. Yeah. Because, which does lead to some interesting scenes, because it leads to a good scene with Barry where he talks about how Barry could break him out, and then it leads to an interesting scene with... Um, Joe and Barry's father, which is a lot good, is a really good emotional scene. Yeah, he finally he, he tells him he believes him now. Yeah, so that was a nice and emotional scene. It was fun, and it was the first time um Barry's father got to see the Flash, mm. which you know starts to foreshadow or not whether or not he even recognizes him because we it's the first time we see Barry do that thing where he vibrates his face, mm. but. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose, you know, going back to that scene, though, one thing we will talk about with Barry taking risks is also, it's the first time, it's, you know, it does lead into a thing of Barry feeling guilty when he can't save people, because... Oh, uh, yeah, that yeah. happens a lot. Well, especially, I think this is the first time that episode, the, an episode has really dealt with it. It's a bit like in Salvation in Arrow, when Felicity couldn't get that, you know, couldn't track the person. Yeah, yeah, they definitely do feel guilty a lot when they can't do things. Exactly, but a lot of this episode also sets up a few interesting back plots as well. First off, we introduce to the Star Labs prison where we're going to be keeping the metahuman since jail can't hold them. Yeah, and we got um a bunch of flashbacks, basically one for each of the characters. First, we got one that's basically Caitlin's perspective. And then we then get some Cisco. for Cisco, yeah. Then at the end, we get um one for Wells. Yeah, but yeah, the, f the one for Cisco and Caitlin is all about learning about Ronnie, who we haven't really seen until now, but, you know, it explains why Caitlin's been so down the past few episodes, but also adds some backstory to Cisco that shows, you know, you know he feels guilty too, because he was the one who had to close the door on Ronnie. Mm. But one interesting thing in the flashback that adds to the mystery is we saw the um, floating liquids again. Oh, yeah. Which we would remember from, from when it Barry happening. Gets hit. Um, but also um, in his bedroom. Like oh, yeah. Little. Yeah, so yeah, we've so seen we that three times. We've seen it in the particle accelerator. Yeah, like getting struck by lightning, that's related to the particle accelerator. But, but it also that... makes sense that it's related to the incident. So that adds to the mystery and thinks, what does that have to do with um yeah, the the guy killing his mom? Exactly, but 
Yeah, I suppose that's a good little thread I wouldn't have thought to pick up on. But yeah, those are all the times we've seen the floating liquid. But yeah, it'd be an interesting mystery. But yeah, it was in, it was nice seeing your know, backstory and getting into Caitlin and Cisco because right now, you know, for the past two episodes, Cisco hasn't really done anything. He's a delightful character, but he hasn't had anything. Whereas this is the first time he's actually gotten some kind of development, if you will. Yeah. But. Speaking of characters that have development, we begin the tr- we continue the tradition of Wells always getting like a cliffhanger or not a cliffhanger but like a stinger to give you more of the mystery because now we see that he had had cameras set up in Barry's lab the whole time and knew it was gonna as if he knew it was gonna happen. Oh yeah, yeah. He um when when they called him down, he went to um that that secret room. And he pulled up a camera and watched Barry get struck by lightning. Yeah, so that's probably the most interesting takeaway from the episode in terms of ongoing plots and mysteries. I suppose the only other ongoing plot, or at least thread, is the stupid, annoying Iris and Eddie crap. Although this time it's not about Barry being a jealous idiot, it's more about them hiding it from Joe. At least I will be glad they didn't drag it on for more than an episode. Yeah. Yeah, but he found out in the end. He found out in the end, and that's about all I can be glad of. But you know me, I, I always hate the drama of secret keeping, which happens a lot in these stupid shows, but there are way worse instances of secrets. Mm. But yeah, at least it wasn't as bad. It's pretty standard. It only lasts for the episode. But It's not as bad as not telling someone that someone's dead. We'll get into that in, a, in Arrow very soon. Mm. But... All in all, that's pretty much the episode. It, by me, it, I think of the first three, I think this one was at least the best because we got a lot of backstory to Cisco and Caitlin. Yeah. And I, th- and I think the villain at least was the more interesting of the first three we've seen. Yeah, but I'll give it a 6.5. It's not, Again. It's not great, but it's not bad. I'm going to give it a 7.5. It's a nice episode. It's delightful. I can't think of any bad points by any mean. It's a nice development. And the villain, at least of the first three is the most interesting we've seen so far. Yeah, definitely. But all in all, I think we've covered it. That's the thing with these Flash episodes, because they're episode by episode. Sometimes there's not that much to talk about. Here's an ongoing thread. Here's our villain. At least it gets us into a nice routine until things really pick up. Don't worry, things will pick up. And I remember what happens, but what's the next episode called? Going Rogue. I remember what that episode is. Yeah, same. That's I remember the thing. season one really well. That's the thing. Unlike Arrow, where most of the time you can't tell what the episode is or remember who it is, this time you have remem- You have pretty much a very good memory of season one, and I'd say season two as well. You kind of fizzle out as we get further into The Flash. Pretty sure I've watched season one at least three times. Oh, you've watched it quite a lot of times, yeah. I think that's... In the- multiple languages. But you've only seen, like, season four maybe one or twice. You've only seen season five once. You haven't touched season six, and you're going to save that until we get to it, aren't you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I, with that being said, next episode is the fourth episode, Going Rogue. So we will see you next time for more reviews of The Flash. <laughs>